hey you guys. I'm really excited and nervous. Remember when I said I had some big news? I do, I've got big news. And I was like, I got some big news to share. And then, oh, I can't tell you yet. I got some big news to share. Oh, not yet. Well, if you follow me on YouTube, you can find the video entitled Musings from a Deathbed. Uh, back in October, I had some crazy stomach thing that knocked me on my butt. So it kind of put me back behind the, behind the eight ball. Um, so my project was a little, you know, stalled, but, um, but it's done now and I'm ready to share. And uh, I'm excited and I'm nervous and I'm all kinds of things because it's something that I've never done before. It's a new endeavor for me. And um, I just, I hope you guys are as excited as I am. So when all of the unpleasantness happened back in July, um, for anybody that's been through that, um, you, what are you gonna do, you know? When you uh, lose your job, when you shouldn't lose your job, when there's no reason you should lose your job, um, it's a confusing time because, you know, somebody has uh, pulled a rug out from under you and everything that you've done and everything that you've worked for is like gone, you know, in the blink of an eye. And uh, you gotta figure out what, what you're gonna do next. So I took a couple days and obviously radio is what I do. It's what I'm good at. Um, it's what I'm really good at. And I know that I will, it won't be long before I find a new radio home. But the last couple months, I put my focus on something else. And this is actually something that I was doing prior to the ultimate uh, betrayal and blindside. Um, this was something I was already going to do. It was already part of my career plan, um, although the subject matter was going to be different. But it was, it's always been part of something that I was going to do. So I had this time on my hands, and uh, I was feeling a little lost, and I just thought, I'm going to continue with this thing, this new endeavor, and uh, I'm going to go for it. And I, I think I've, have I been stalling enough? I'm so nervous. Um, I wrote a book. I wrote a book. So in addition to people like William Shakespeare, Deepak Chopra, there's me. And I wrote a book. And it's called Living on Air, A Radio Girl's Quest for Fairness and Happily Ever After. And I'm so excited about it. And uh, I spent the last four months writing it. And I, um, I just put it all out there. It's basically, um, it's the story of my first 20 years of radio. All of it, how, how I got there, things that happened while I was there. Um, just the whole journey, you know, that was the first 20 years. I know I've got another 20 years in front of me, maybe another 30 years. I'll probably be working till I'm, you know, like Barbara Walters age, but, um, it was always my plan to write a book and I had the time now. So I just sat down and I just started writing it and I've had some people who do this for a living, uh, read it and, um, they say it makes you laugh and it makes you cry and, uh, it's just, it's just a good story. It's, it's, and it's my story. And I thought this is a good time. So I wrote a book and you can click on the link below me and uh, you can pre-order. And I hope you do. I hope that I hope that you order it. I hope that you like it. Um, like I said, it was always my plan, you know, when all of the uh, radio station stuff happened. I was actually working on a different uh, book, but um, I decided this seemed relevant to document my 20 years of radio. And um, I think it's funny. I mean, when I read it, I laugh sometimes and I cry sometimes. And um, more importantly, I, hopefully it's inspiring and uplifting to people who are going through things, who've had, you know, things happen to them out of the blue. But um, I'm really excited and this is something I haven't done in my career yet. Uh, a copy of the book is already on the way to Oprah. So I imagine I'll probably be on Oprah pretty soon. That'll be a big deal. Um, but I'm, I'm just, I'm really excited. So if you pre-order it, I am autographing copies and I would love to autograph a copy for you, personalize it, send it back to you. But um, yeah, this, this, that's, what, that's what I've been working on. And uh, I'm hopeful from this, that there will be some opportunities, but now that I've got the book done, I can start you know, focusing on the other thing. But I just really wanted to do this and 
I think it's good. I think it's good. I, re I read it a couple times. Warren did too. He liked it. So um, that's it. And uh, I'm glad I could finally share it and uh, click the link below. And I hope that you like it. And yay. And then, you know, we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk after you read it. Love you guys. Miss you guys. Talk to you soon.